super squishy and cushiony. Ow. Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. I have the worst neck pain, like stiff neck because I slept wrong again. But it's Friday morning and we need to get new shower hooks for the towels. Um, yeah, I brought the thing from the other house. What thing? Oh, I am about to go to Starbucks and get coffee because yesterday my best friend was here and she asked me to make her a coffee and I used my last coffee pods on that. So I'm going to go to Starbucks because I have a gift card. So I'm like perfect. And then when I get back home, I need to edit a vlog. And then as soon as I'm done, I need to start unpacking more there's like maybe four three or four boxes one of the back rooms that i can unpack and i just need to get to cleaning like these floors i need to get one of those like robot roomba vacuum things because this is a lot of floor to maintain it's a lot of work keeping it clean I need to do my closet um we're going out later tonight with our uh, friends that we always go to dinner with um, the husband or the I mean I get they're practically married the husband is um, owner of like a couple bars and clubs downtown so they're having like a grand opening for one of them and he invited us for like their soft opening we bought I didn't show you guys yesterday I'll show you right now oh. I ordered more stuff for the backyard I feel like that's kind of what I've been prioritizing finishing because it's already like 90 degrees every day and having that completed is going to take a lot of stress off of me so yesterday we went to at home are you about to leave okay yesterday we went to the at home store and we got a couple of things we went to look for dining chairs because we don't have any but i really 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 needed a um bath mat like a shower floor mat for the other bathroom so i got this one it's like a really pretty sagey green i'm so tired of like white on white on white i'm just over it so i was like let me do a pretty color so i just got this sagey green and then we got a umbrella base which i can't pick it up it's heavy right here an umbrella stand with an umbrella table it's like one of those tables that you stick the umbrella into so this is going to be next to or in between my um two loungers i have to get one more lounger but this is going to be next to the one that i have now and then i got a black umbrella just to keep i have a lot of black with like our gazebo is black the piping of some of our furniture is black the stand for our hammock and the other umbrella is black. So I'm like, let me, we just decided on black and we need to put this up too. But these are pretty much the boxes that I need to work on today. It's hard to see because of the lighting um, right here. So there's just laundry in this one, decor pieces in that one. And then I have some random stuff in that one. My bar cart is a mess. I don't have anything. Well, this, there's a box of just like random decor in this bedroom. This is gonna be the guest bedroom. Once we get a new bed and new like bedroom furniture, we're gonna transfer what's in our bedroom into this bedroom. Um, but that'll be way later. And then this is my office room. That is a complete disaster, but I don't have a desk. Um, I'm gonna get one. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet, but I'm gonna get a desk but my priority right now like for this current moment is i just need to get the last lounger for outside the wood lounger that like you lay down and tan on and then um dining table dining chairs i think i'm gonna start with just two maybe two or four to fill here because it's just me and tyler and then i can add on like as i want but anyways i guess that's like a little house update everything is a mess and it's, there's boxes over here. TV's on the floor because we need to paint this wall. This wall goes all the way over here. 
and it's pink and I don't hate the color, I just don't want it there. And then this is also pink. It's like, that was like their accent wall, which it's not an ugly color, it's a pretty color. I just, I don't want pink walls, <laughs> especially not in the living room. This room here, I also need to get bar stools because we have like this little end section where me and Tyler could eat dinner. <clears throat> Excuse me, we could eat dinner in the meantime <laughs> here if I find bar stools that I like. Um, so yeah, there's that. I can put one, two, maybe three bar stools all the way around. Like you see, the floors are so dirty. Um, but this room, we're going to eventually close off. We're gonna put a wall, make it like its proper room with doors, and we're gonna paint it really, really dark, probably black, or like a really dark, 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 color and we're gonna turn it into a cocktail lounge where like you can come in you can sit down we're gonna have nice like chairs maybe a sofa the walls are gonna be like filled with like bottles of champagne and we're gonna have really cool art and like that's gonna be a really 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 big project but that's what this room is gonna be because we don't know what it is and it leads right there and that's outside so it's like perfect we'll probably close it off to like here like from this window so it'll be like, it's still gonna be pretty big. Um, so yeah, let's, I need coffee. So let's go to the coffee. Outside. Oh my God, guys, my neck. Oh, jeez. Definitely gonna have to do a coffee run like to pick up actual pots. I like making my coffee at home. Should I get myself like a whole little breakfast or should I get my coffee and then make my breakfast at home? I don't know. Yesterday I made crunch wraps and oh, they were so good. Like crunch wraps at home are 10 times better than crunch wraps at Taco Bell. Hello, can I have a grande brown sugar shake and espresso? And can I do it with um, salted caramel cold foam, please? Gotcha. That'll be it. Okay, it's going to be 746. Thank you. You're welcome. No, you too. I'm back home, and first things first is editing a vlog. So. Make sure my front door is locked before I go outside. Since I don't have um, seating in the dining table, I'm just going to take my laptop outside because I bought a, um, we found this at Ikea. I can't remember if I showed you guys. I have filmed so many videos that I don't know what I've shown and what I haven't. I got this table at the, I think, oh, I did show it at the as is section in Ikea, which like sometimes, the things in the Aziz have like damages or the paint or whatever. This table was in perfect condition. I'm not actually sure why it was in the Aziz. Maybe it was just, I don't know, an older collection, but it goes kind of with this vibe pretty well. This is just like a little bistro set and I got these chairs a long time ago at At Home. So I was like, perfect. This can be like if we're gonna eat breakfast outside or if we're gonna eat anything, we can just sit here. So this is going to be my little work area with a not so bad view. So I just finished editing my video. That took kind of a long time. I don't know if my light will focus. Leonard's hot, apparently. Um, 
but I'm gonna make myself some food. I have leftover ground turkey, like taco meat. So I'm gonna make that. I don't know, maybe I'll make like a taco bowl. I don't wanna think about it too much. I just wanna make. So I have my pans. I am obsessed with them, by the way. Um, I'll leave them linked if you guys are looking for new pots and pans. This is from the uh, Drew Barrymore uh, collection for Walmart. This stuff is stunning. Um, but I'm putting a little bit of olive oil because I'm going to make some cauliflower rice. I need to go and stock up because this is all I have left. But I'm waiting to like run out of my food um, to do a Trader Joe's haul. I'm just gonna make the rest, whatever. Cause I don't, I don't like going to the grocery store until I actually need stuff because then I start buying things just to buy things because I'm there and things and things end up going to waste or going bad or whatever so i think i'm gonna use that cauliflower rice i have the ground turkey i'm gonna make well not make i have tomatoes that i'll put in there i have avocado sour cream hot sauce if you like spicy and i'm not saying that this tastes like rice nothing is a good substitute for rice rice is rice but if you want something that's a little lower calorie, if you're trying to eat a little bit healthier, cleaner, lighter, lighter. I'll say that because rice is still healthy. This rice is bomb. I eat it regardless. Like, I love the way that it tastes. Whoever made this, created this, it is seasoned so well and it's nice and spicy. It's so good. Anyways, I'm going to make my lunch. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done, but I'm going to grab my laptop. I got to finish up the work that I'm doing there. Okay, so here's our yummy bowl. I could eat this every single day. If I had beans, it'd be even better. So it's the base is cauliflower rice and ground turkey. I cut up some tomatoes for the top. I put a little bit of shredded cheese. I have half of an avocado and a little bit of sour cream. I was going to put some Valentina's, but this is already spicy um, because of the cauliflower rice. And then I'm doing this peach perrier. just finished straightening up the kitchen because this being kind of cluttered makes everything else feel cluttered because it's the center of the house I need to go through this box here which has just like I don't even know what it has I need to go through this box here which has more just random shit in there Anyways, I'm about to start getting this work done, and um, I'll see you guys once it looks better in here. You guys, do you see this right now? This could literally make me cry. Like, you guys, I cannot believe this is my life. Like, I can't. Tyler got Leonard a vest. My tulips in my window, like what? I'm just in here. I got through some boxes that are over there. Um, I unpacked, what was it? It was like two boxes over here, so those are done. I put some of my shoes in here. I took out all my perfumes and put them here. I hung up all of my clothes. I have like my jackets and stuff, like over here, purses. This was all just like thrown in here when we were moving in. Oh, well, the rest of my shoes are in here. That's why I didn't know where they were. Um, I can't wait to get this room up and going. Definitely not the priority, but I can't wait. And I don't know what I'm wearing later tonight. Um, I'll probably wear jeans and a top because it's just like a bar 
opening. It's nothing like too crazy. I don't know what the vibes are of this place, mm -hmm. but it is like almost 90 degrees today. Ow! That was very stupid. Here's my Jonatinas. But yeah, my baby pink Louboutins aren't here. And I don't know where they are. And there's no, it's so weird, there's no linen closet in here. So I've just been using um, the closet in this room as like, it's a very big closet too. Like I can definitely fit everything I need in here. But I've just been using that as a linen closet because there's another closet like right when you walk in. Like normally a linen closet would be like somewhere around here. But I have some linens where the washer dryer are like right over there, but it doesn't hold that much. My sister got me this cute little visor. She got it from Target. Yeah, I think so. This cute little sun hat, which maybe I'll wear this into the pool now. I'm pretty sure she got it from Target. But it's so cute and it like blocks her face. Okay, let's pick out a bikini to put on because it's about to be four. And yeah, I'm just, I'm ready. So I can either do, I have so many bathing suits, it's like actually ridiculous. And I don't care, I need more because if all of my summer is going to be spent at the pool, I need to have bathing suits. So I can do, this is one from Brenda and Core. I love this bathing suit. It's a two piece, or a one piece. This was gonna be my birthday bathing suit, but I had too many, too many family members here. So I was like, no, we're gonna switch it. So this is the, I think it's called, I can't remember, it's Hawaiian, um, but an artist, she takes her art and puts it on bathing suits. So I have a couple of her bikinis. This is one of them. I love this. I haven't worn it yet. Um, and then I have, this was the first one that I bought from her. This is one of her art pieces as well. It has like avocados, uh, papayas. So beautiful. Maybe do it, I'll do my white gooseberry. Love this bathing suit. Maybe I'll do this. These are my favorite bathing suits. Um, and I've put a lot of people on to these bathing suits a lot. They are the best, the best bathing suit fabric. Um, so I'm gonna get changed and then I'll show you guys, but they're the best. I get them in a size medium. I get all my bathing suits in a size medium unless they're like, um, like a, a style that I'm like, mm, I feel like I would need to size up, but just use your best judgment. Just get whatever you normally get in, in swim, but I get a medium. Okay, my bikini's on, I'm just fixing my hair cause it's like all falling all over. Probably gonna get on one of the floaties and just like float in the water. this one so it's like tight so here's the bikini these are like the best one pieces ever 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 so i ordered new house slippers because my old ones i've had for like three years and they were disgusting so i just got here oh and they they're like squishy because i have my fucking fascia this is what they look like they're cute I got brown so that they won't look dirty and they'll look like my nude because I am so dark. I'll leave them links. They're in my Amazon. No, are they? No, I'm not. Um, this is what the bottom looks like. They're cute and they're very, very squishy. So this will be nice. This is from at home. So this baby in the pool.
Hey you guys, so it's been a little bit. I, am, I don't even know where the lights are in this place. I, um, there we go. I just put on my new slippers. These are the most comfortable slippers I have ever worn in my life. They're like super squishy and cushiony. Um, very, very much recommend. But we left the house because I needed to meet up with someone that was buying, well, that already bought a piece of furniture from me. Um, so I had to leave and then I came back home. Here comes Tyler. We grabbed some fish for dinner tonight. We grabbed some rainbow trout fillets. And I grabbed some spicy tiger rolls from the public sushi section. If you've never had public sushi, Publix, honestly, if you don't live in the south, like in the southern states, and you don't have access to Publix, I feel bad for you because Publix really is like one of the best, most enjoyable grocery stores. Everybody is so nice. That's like what their lo like slogan is. The food is so good, like a pub sub. If there are any of you guys, and I know I have a lot of, a very large community that is from up north. If you guys ever come to Florida, it doesn't matter where, find yourself a Publix. Get yourself in that store. Get yourself a chicken tender sub at the little deli area. Get fish. They on on a is it Wednesdays? Wednesdays they do sushi Wednesday, and all the sushi is five dollars. It's so good. So I got this sushi. It is a spicy tiger roll. I got that for us to have as like a little appetizer while we eat. And then I am going to make um, the trout. I think I'm gonna bake it, and I'm gonna do. Um, I might bread it depending on if I can. I don't know how thin it's gonna be. And then I'm gonna make some rice and some broccoli and Caesar salad. So it's gonna be a really nice, clean, healthy, wholesome meal. So I'm going to. I think season the fish. Thirteen ninety nine a pound. So I paid fifteen dollars for two po two fillets. Let's see what these are looking like real quick. Ooh, they're long. Okay, I'm definitely gonna bake these. Holy cow. Okay, they're huge, but they're, it's a very thin fish, so that works out well. Just do a little olive oil. A lot of garlic, cracked pepper. My favorite, if you have not ever purchased this, purchase this at Trader Joe's, the Italian style sofrito. It's just like very thick chunks of seasoning and like dried herbs. It's so good, especially on like baked chicken or fish. It is incredible is what it looks like here. It's just a ton of like dried chunks and oh my God, on fish, it's incredible. You guys should have seen me the first day like trying to turn this on, even now. Upper, oh shit, bake and I need it at 425. Gorgeous. Um, so I'm gonna let that start baking or start preheating while I get some rice going. Normally I don't cook on Fridays, but we've been spending just so much money on moving and all that, that I'm like, you know what, I'll cook so that we're not eating out and I'm just tired of eating out, to be honest. Actually it's very small, the salad, because I used a lot of the um, lettuce. I need to get lettuce. Salad kits are the way to go. I do want to make like a homemade Caesar salad one day. One day. Let's toss it up. Love a Caesar salad. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That's good. I've been very into sushi lately. And I like sushi, I've always liked sushi. It's just like, it comes in waves. 
this in here. I'm so hungry, I'm about to finish that sushi, honestly. All I've eaten today is that cauliflower bowl. Alright. I'll check in later and show you guys what it's looking like. Mmm. That's which is good. Mmm. I love broccoli. With a little bit of salt and hot sauce. Put Tyler's white. Well, jasmine rice. Oh no, that's mine. So, this is for Tyler. And now my fish is ready, which is good. Everything is basically ready at the same time. Now these fish pieces are huge, so I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get these out. Pretty sure I have like a massive spatula, but I don't know where it is. Found it. It's like huge. Holy moly. It's huge, you guys. Hopefully it tastes good. Okay. So here is dinner. Tons of vegetables, some brown rice here in the middle, and fish. So we're gonna enjoy this while I watch uh, Love is Blind, and I will see you guys in the next vlog.